going on y'all sierra here back with another video and you already know i'm coming with some sauce if you're new welcome and if you're already a current subscriber welcome back to the channel y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe so that you stay updated with us and yeah i'll give you a couple seconds to subscribe right now because there's no point in watching this video if you're not going to join the family okay bet perfect now you join the family now you can continue watching this video and let's get right into it and if you guys see me looking right here it's because i'm looking at myself so i do apologize throughout the video i am mostly looking at myself through my reflection but yeah so i definitely apologize you guys so for today i'm coming with five important things that might help you whenever you're producing content for your social media for your business for your blog website for anything that you have regarding network marketing for whatever um you promote whether it's a product or a service this will definitely help you if you're in network marketing and you need help with this right so the first thing is going to be a solution right you always want to provide a solution for your customers right figure out what problem they're having if you ever heard the saying stop chasing money and start chasing solutions to problems that is definitely the most thing that i can advocate for you right so the first thing you want to do is find out a solution you can do a poll you can do like little things on your story to just to figure out one figure out your niche figure out what product or service that you're selling and basically figure out what problem does it solve for people right but just financially whether it's um weight loss whether it's um skincare what, whatever it is for people figure out what problem it solves for people and then take that conclusion and then make content out of it right give value to your customers right so figure out a solution to whatever problem that they're having that's going to definitely help you in a major major way figure out the solutions to their problems that way those people that are watching you will turn into customers at that point because they feel like okay this person is not just thinking about themselves they're thinking about me as well and they have me in mind and once they have you in mind to a problem that they think that you can solve for them they'll turn into potential customers or definitely just reach out and you could share your webinar your powerpoint whatever solution that you have to their problem if you don't know how to do that you can definitely ask your followers to help you find out solution to your problem right so what that is like i said you can make a poll you could figure out your idea audience and reach out to them and been like and ask just certain questions right figure out what your audience and your customers like and then create content off that based around what your audience likes right because a lot of times you're not getting engagement or you're not getting um you're not you're not turning your followers into customers simply because you're not either you're not in front of enough faces or you're not solving problems for individuals so that's two things that you mainly want to figure out whenever you're having a solution to problems and stuff like that definitely figure out what that can do you right okay and then the second thing you want to do is educate and empower right so getting back into what i said when you have a solution to the problem the first time make sure that you have those problems and make sure you, you can do quotes on your page you can do ebooks which i see a lot of people just create content out of ebooks and they sell it to their customers just so they know that it's like um, a variety of value for them so do podcasts which is like basically what i'm doing right now a video except you're taking the video out and you just have your voice and your people are just listening to you talk so like listening to an audiobook online or whatever the case is simple just like that just take your voice and then record it as podcast so like i can take my, my voice from this video and put it into a podcast and that'll be two separate ways to create content but on two different platforms yeah or just basic info that you research you can sh reshare with people so based off what i've learned over the years that i've been doing this this is what i learned and now i'm sharing it with you guys so just copy the right cat and do the right thing and it should be completely easy for you the thing that might help as well is like sharing testimonials or things that people have said about whatever product or service that you might be using so say that you have a weight loss product so if the person has lost weight you can show the before and after and then put that up as a post and also share what the person has said i've also seen content where people just make videos based off how what it, what the product or service has done for them and how it has changed their life and that's just like basically like a review because i know a lot of people they buy stuff and they check the reviews first i'm that type of person as well you want to make sure this is a, a credible or a valuable service that you're purchasing from and that your money won't just be wasted right so definitely make sure that you have a testimonial going on where people have either said something good or bad whatever either the case they try the product service and it's work for them you always want to show what other people have done because you want to know not only are you doing it but are others doing it and what is and what has it done for others not just you
the thing you want to do is show off your working space right so i do this all the time where I, either i'm on zoom calls i definitely show my audience that i'm on a zoom call so you want to show that it's not just you you have people teaching you you want to know when they come in or whatever product or service or company that they're coming into that they're going to be taught they're not just going to be left alone when they spend their money and they want to know that they're going to get help right so i post trainings that happen all the time i post leadership calls that happen all the time and i post just content because we have access to millionaires so when you have access to those successful type of people then you want to definitely show other people that when they come in they're going to get access to valuable people people who have results people who can they can definitely duplicate and yeah because what's duplicatable works because when somebody like comes into your business they can't duplicate what you've done and either make money off of it or have it work for themselves they're not going to stay so that's important you want to show your on zoom you want to show your calendar like what you have set up if you have different calls set up for your team for your schedule for the week like um you're supposed to show the plan with my specific product or service five times a week and you have like two days off so i can show you guys my calendar where i have maybe showing the plan or what i do or hosting a webinar or talking to people at least five times that week and then having two days off where i don't and i just have free time to myself so make sure you do that because that's going to equal um people coming in your business as well so show your calendar show your zoom calls show that you show the work basically show the work behind the scenes because don't try to finesse people on what and then they're gonna come in and think it's easy or that it requires no work or no effort and think they're gonna get results off of doing nothing. That is simply not true, right? So you always wanna show, be transparent. This the, if you want something to work for you, you're gonna to have to work for it. So show the behind the scenes, show you working with your team, show the leadership training, show the calls, show what you have to do in order to become successful because that's what's gonna be duplicatable for the next person, right? Calendar, show your home office, so your home office setup. A lot of people work from home, but they're working for somewhere else, right? In your case, you're network marketing, so you're working for yourself as well, but you're helping others get the success that you have so you are definitely more credible and you're definitely more valuable to the marketplace so once you show people that you're more valuable showing people that oh you can still have the same office set up but be doing something totally different and put you in a different different lifestyle but you definitely open up their eyes to what's more out there for them so that's very important so the next thing you want to do is just help them visualize right help the person actually see themselves in your shoes or see themselves accomplishing what you've accomplished because a lot of people they're like skeptical because they're and they're like oh well that's good for that person but i don't know if it can quite work for me right how many people have said that to themselves or about certain other things or people where they where they're like eh, i'm gonna wait until you know this completely works for them because i don't know if it's gonna work out for me right so you want to help them see and visualize what's really going on and realize that they can put themselves in your shoes and do the same thing that you're doing so this goes back to the um, testimonials when you're showing what it's done for other people that's going to help as well build your credibility because you have a team of people who have gotten results and that means there's no problem for other people to come in and do the same thing right you want to have what's duplicatable right People just basically see and feel themselves in the space, realize that there are possibilities for them, the benefits of this. You want to just help the person see themselves bigger than where they currently are. And I think that's the best part of having a mentor and having mentorships is helping people see beyond what they current their current situation. The realizing that their current situation is not their destination, right? There is other possibilities a million of other possibilities outside of what their comfort zone is allowing them to be in right now right so you always want to help somebody see that for themselves you want to put give them a plan give them a vision up front when they first come in your business so that they know like this is what you have to dedicate and this is what you might have to cut out this is what you have to do in order to see the results that you want to see right so definitely just have a game plan be a good mentor to the people that are coming into your business and there's no reason that they shouldn't see results because from the jump on your page or wherever you create your content at from your blog post they already visualize that hey i can relate to this person hey i can see and feel myself in this position that they're in and hey i know it can work for me because it's worked for them and then the last thing is definitely to just embrace being yourself, embrace your own personality, embrace like knowing that you are different and you're 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 the only person that's like you. There's nobody with the other DNA just like you, right? You're your own person. You don't have to try to be someone else. You don't have to try to like put on a facade like you're this person and you're really not. It, you be true to yourself because people love authenticity, right? 
authenticity, right? Be yourself, show, show who you are. People love to laugh. People love to be around people who they desire to be. So definitely I would say be yourself because you know, if you're being fake, people can see right through that. <laughs> I know a lot of people like, there's like a saying that's like, I can read people when they're not being themselves. And yeah, that's definitely true. We live in a society where now people just can see through BS. So you need to like be yourself, right? Be you, be authentic, be true to yourself. And that'll definitely portray through your work and what you do. And then people will be like, okay, because real recognize the real, okay? They do. I know I do. So... <laughs> definitely um just be yourself it's not even the fact that you just shouldn't do it it's just like that's just gonna leave you feeling like um yeah like like you don't you won't you will be fake yourself You're like dang i gotta wake up and put on a face like i'm this person but i'm really this person so just be yourself people love you for you and if they don't then they're not meant for you right so build your business how off your personality and see how that works for you so this is basically Five things that should definitely help you in your network marketing business whenever you're building content, building clients, finding people who, you know, relate to you and your situation. This can definitely help you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your other team members because I know they could definitely benefit from this type of video. And yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.